Hello, this is John and Kathy with FSD Unsupervised, and we've been taking trips all weekend to a lot of different cities to get a lot of different feedback on how our new updated 13.2.9 FSD is. Um, yesterday we went to Sorrento, Eustis, and Grand Island. That ended up being a bunch of rural routes and a bunch of highway driving, so nothing new for FSD to do there. Um, today we went to Palm Coast and that was basically some suburban driving and highways. And now today we are in St. Augustine, the oldest city in America. And they have some interesting stuff here. So we got some construction that happened and some roundabouts and things like that. But just wanted to talk to you guys about the new update and what's new, what's different. Um, the nag. It's a little bit less. It's not, you know, a lot less, but it's a little bit less on the nag. It lets you do a few things that wouldn't let you do before. If you have a device in your hand, it's still going to nag you right away and see that you have a device in your hand. Um, it's been doing a great job. A lot of navigation issues still. Um, it goes through cities, and I'm, some of the cities, like in Palm Coast, they have some really congested areas that they decided to put up some no u-turn signs at um, nothing that shows no u-turn except for one sign that they you know kind of like bolted to it and just said no u-turn there uh, fsd was confused by um, had some stoplights that are brand new that don't show up on the map um, FSD got one, FSD didn't get the other, and then we don't know about the last one because it was green anyway, um, so that worked out, and other than that, I mean, it seems to be about the same, it's, it's a little bit slow on acceleration for me still, um, it's a little bit slow on the turns for me still, but as I'm paying attention to that because I see that, I'm actually thinking maybe it's me because it's still beating most people off of the line. I mean, really, it, we're car lengths ahead of everybody off of the line, even though it seems slow to me. So I guess it's just normal to, that people accelerate slower and it's learning from other humans, so they accelerate slow from lengths. I don't do that, so it still seems low to me. Um, is there anything that you noticed that was... Oh, and Kathy's supervising today again, so hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because <laughs> that's supposed to me. <laughs> you don't supervise very often. That's all that means. Yeah. Um, but as we do our trip, I mean, you can see the acceleration. You'll see the turns and everything like that, and you can watch the turns. Um, you tell me in the comments whether you thought it was, you know, slower, faster, fine. Um, just seems slow to me. But yeah, sometimes the acceleration is a little too slow, especially if there's a car coming behind and it doesn't seem like I don't know if it doesn't see it or it just knows it'll make it. But we don't want to piss anybody off, so we sometimes hit the gas to go a little faster. Highway driving seems just the same to me, except for maybe. And this is just a maybe. It slows down better for slow traffic ahead of you now. Um, in the version 12, I used to call that the butt clenching moment on whether it's going to oh, wow. you know, yeah. slow down good enough or not have to do an emergency stop to slow down. Yeah, you were hovering over the brake pedal, at least I was. Yeah, like, so <laughs> now it doesn't do that. And it was comfortable before, and now it seems to be even better. Um, I don't notice any kind of thing where I'm worried about it at all when it's slowing down for slow traffic. Kathy's a little bit more sensitive than that for me, so she does a little woo or wee woo. <laughs> um, and that shows that. I just try to be proactive, that's why. That shows that, you know, it's, I like uh, slow down earlier. it's a little bit too much for her, but I mean, we've got car lengths of time before the stop is. So for me, it's very natural and smooth. Yeah, it's and gotten better good. for sure. Yeah, it's not very scary anymore. Um, actually, for me, it's not scary at all. I just let it do its thing now. Uh, highway.
highway driving seems to be just wonderful. Um, still has that thing where it doesn't go into the lane to turn uh, quick enough for Kathy, even though it's better than it was before. Uh, used to be right before you have to get off, it would get into the right-hand lane. Now it's over a half a mile before or, it... Or it's at a half a mile. Yeah. But there's times where it clearly could have gone behind the car, but it wants to get one more ahead, you know? Yeah. Just like a human. Which I, I like. get one more ahead. <laughs> Which I like. But then it's like, it's like sketchy if it's going to make it in between before... On our way it. back home from work on Friday, though, I mean... Seriously, we would have been behind traffic doing 50 miles an hour, and instead it sped up to 77. Uh, speed limit was 70, sped up to 77, went past that whole line of traffic, oh, and then yesterday. got into the turn line. I mean, yesterday. Was it yesterday or Friday? Coming from Sorrento. Yeah. So it was it was excellent. Did a great job. Um, mm -hmm. Knew that the whole line was just not keeping up with the flow of traffic yeah and everybody seemed content just to sit there and do 50 but not me and not fsd so yeah, it worked out just fine <laughs> and that's on standard yeah it's not like on oh hurry. yeah or we always on hurry mode. we always drive on standard or insane is um, it hurry hurry insane. is that we have or insane no i don't no. remember it's hurry standard chill okay. and always on standard um, hurry actually stays in the left-hand lane too long for me, and yeah. cars that are flying in the left-hand lane, it thinks, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm fast enough, so I don't have to get out of the way of that car doing 90, and it just sits there, so I don't use that, use that. Yeah. there's a lot of people in Florida that like to do, you know, 90, 95 on the 70s, um, yeah. I like to do 77 on the 70s. So it works out great yeah, for me. Yeah, it's the radar. Yeah. Yep. But do you have anything that that it's doing particularly well, or anything that needs improvement still? Well, it didn't when we were in Palm Coast, and it didn't know which way to take that road. Even though it showed it going straight, it was making a right for some reason. I don't know if it just couldn't read the map. Oh, it was two right-hand turn lanes. No, it was the one we were in was only a turn. Was it right. was not a forward lane. Correct. And it was it in was, the right lane. It was supposed to go forward. So right. I don't know if it just. It was didn't two right-hand turn lanes, and mm -hmm. it got into the one on the left to go right, and then instead of the forward, instead of the it's forward supposed to cross one, over the highway. But yeah. again, I mean. Yeah, I know that could just be I, a map thing. I'm sticking I'm up guessing. for FSD on this one because yeah, it could have been a map thing. That lane that goes left. If it goes forward, it goes into its own lane forward too. So I don't That's understand. Where it was supposed to I don't go. understand why it's only a right-hand turn in that lane. Yeah, it was supposed to be. It in... did not do it right. I'm yeah, agreeing. I just think it's a map thing. It didn't know. It didn't understand. Yeah, I don't or it know. It wasn't clear. I don't know. And so many unnamed roads on this map. Holy cow! Yeah. I just I don't understand Unless it. I mean, roads have been around for years. I don't know. No. Yeah. Roads that have been around for years and it still says unnamed road on the map. So that's yeah, a little that's disappointing that we don't it's have our navigation FSD. and mapping really down updated. well. Yeah, it needs to be updated um, more often. I assume that's why that they're doing so much mapping in Austin, Texas for the rollout of robo taxi. Mm -hmm. Because there's just so much stuff that this mapping information that we have just doesn't have. But other than that, I mean, it, it's not real big changes from 13.2.8 to 13.2.9. Um, just little changes. The nag is the biggest thing that I can think of. Everything else seems to be working, you know, either exactly the same or maybe slightly better than 13.2.8. But nothing like huge noticeable, like, oh my gosh, this is just a big, huge change. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's going to come with a point release. I think we're going to have to wait for a full wait version to, wait release. Wait to 14. Okay. Yeah. And who knows when we're going to get that. Whoa. Slow down, baby. And that's a slow down, like, I don't know. I didn't have a problem with it, but you can obviously hear well, that Kathy that guy, had a problem with that it. That guy was like, I'm not sure I want to go on that road or not. 
Yeah. So it was slowing it up. And one thing that we did notice the whole weekend, I mean, the whole weekend, is that humans drive terrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just terrible. It's amazing how bad humans drive. Going through red lights, stop signs, speeding, doing 95, 100 miles an hour, um, just doing crazy things, turning, weaving. Um, everything that you can think of, we saw it this weekend. It's just amazing how bad humans are at driving. Or not that they're bad. Maybe it's just because they're doing it on purpose. Um, so it might not be that they're bad drivers. They're just inconsiderate jerk drivers. Um, <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. But it's just one of those things oh, where Lord. I don't like that whatsoever. Oh, Lord. Uh, truck has his flashes on. So everybody's freaking out yeah. like me. Dang. But we'll keep it on the highway for a little bit so you guys can see the highway. I didn't film all the highway and rural driving. Um, I was going to film a lot this weekend, but when we got to where we were going, it was I was going to film on the way home all the time. And it's just like, wow, basically we just, we're on a single lane highway and then we made two turns off of the highway. And back to I-4. And back to I-4 and it's just, it was, it was nothing. It does this perfectly all the time. So this weekend, what did we do? We did, I don't know, 120, 140 miles worth of driving yesterday. Seemed like. And um, then we were stuck in that traffic for like half an hour at that one lane. Yeah. Trying to get on to I-4. And then today, let's see, that was 140, uh, 200, so about 340 miles worth of driving this weekend. Um, and FSD just did it all. I mean, yeah, there's some navigation errors where I took over and moved us to the, to the road that we wanted to, to start FSD on again. Yeah. You know, restarted FSD and then it did the rest. Yeah. Um, had the one where the stoplight wasn't a stoplight, but there was a stoplight there. And so I, I stopped FSD, stopped at the stoplight, turned FSD back on again. Mm-hmm. That's all I can remember that we had to do, except for park. Yeah. yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah, except for park. So everything everything was great this weekend. FSD just does everything now. <laughs> um, Kathy and I had a conversation on the way here about how I don't want to drive anymore. So it's just one of those things where it's just so much more relaxing and I don't get stressed and we just we just had a day basically we started driving at 8 30 8 30 this morning uh we stopped for lunch and walked around st augustine for a couple of hours and other than that we've been driving yeah so well we were in palm coast yeah we went to palm coast first right but other than yeah. that we've been driving so really all day today except for two hours we've been driving yeah but we haven't been actually driving. We've just been watching our car drive itself. Right. And now we're gonna go home. And normally, if I drive all day long, I just want to go home take a nap. <laughs> well, we're basically going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> because it's this hour. Yeah. So. <laughs> every time we get home. It's just one of those things where I don't. I just don't want to deal. Yeah. Um. And now that we have this. We're, we're going home. We already thought about what are we going to do when we get home because now we're relaxed, refreshed, and we don't have any stress, and I didn't have to do all that driving, and I didn't have to deal with all the traffic, and it's just one of those things where now it's just we'll go home and do something else. Right. So it, it gives you time. <laughs> it really does. It gives you your time back. It's really crazy, but it does. Yeah, I mean, you still gotta watch, but yeah, but it's not like you're like got the death grip on the steering wheel and sweat. Yeah. And when you see somebody coming up on you at 100 miles an hour, I just look in the mirror and see what they're gonna do. And like this guy yeah. just came up right on us. And make sure that FSD isn't gonna do anything 
bad and then they're gone and we're done. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those things where everything's just so much easier on FSD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not going to keep this video going for the whole time that we're on 95, obviously, because it's going to go home now. We're not going to touch it again. Right. I will I will guarantee you with 100% certainty that we will not touch anything again and we will just wind up at home. Our next stop will be at home. Yeah. It's going to pull into the driveway and again I will have to move it forward 25 feet to get into my garage. Yeah. <laughs> so it's that good. Do you have any final thoughts about FSD or anything that happened this weekend? No. no I have no see. I have no issues. So other than the, they need to fix the maps. Uh, yeah. other than that, uh, no. I think it was good. Okay. So what they're doing in Austin about making sure the navigation and maps are fixed and everything like that, that is something that I think that they're gonna have to do. Um, I think they can do that without actually, you know, having their own drivers do it. I think the cars that are in the area are going to be able to update maps. And I think that FSD is going to go unsupervised this year because basically to me, except for parking and navigation issues, it could be unsupervised right now as far as I'm concerned. Well, don't you think that uh, Tesla should have their own, like, Google thing that drives around because... Obviously, the Google one is not car, so good. Every car, <laughs> every car on the road is one of those things. I know, but I'm just saying it should have its own. Since we have a, it can do it by drive by itself now, or they have some. Yeah. Then, then it'd just be a Tesla Maps. Yeah, maybe it, maybe that's something that yeah. is considered for the future. Yeah. But it's just unbelievably good, and I'm gonna end it right there because there's nothing really needed go unsupervised as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, get that map right and we'll be great. Yep. But uh, until next time, thanks for listening and make sure you like, subscribe, uh, like, follow, depending on if you're watching this on X or YouTube. But uh, have a great day everybody. Thanks. Bye.